tabs. We're going to go ahead and find out what VAB, VA, and VCB are uh, by uh, taking a, uh, I took a snip of this uh, circuit, a part of the circuit that you need to calculate, and I have uh, drawn it on the bottom of this page here. Okay, so now what we're trying to do is we're trying to calculate or come up with our VAB, VA, and VCB. So just let me make a note of that. VA, consistent with the coloring, VAB, VA, as well as VC, VCB. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to find what VAB is. VAB is pretty much, um, pretty much this one here. So uh, VAB is pretty much our voltage uh, on this resistor here, R8. And we know that we've calculated what VR8 is. And if we look up, VR8 is 26.7. Um, so we can go ahead and write down that uh, VAB is equal to 26.7. Okay. And uh, how do we know that it's 26.7 and not, uh, uh, let's say, negative uh, 26.7 so we can write down we say that let's say we're gonna say that this is our loop so this is our loop and we're just gonna go around so as we go around we're first is gonna hit VR we are going to see VR8 first and then minus V VAB equal to zero but we know that VAB is equal to VR8 so therefore VR8 is equal to 26.7 so then that gives us VR, VAB volts okay so that's what that now we're going so that's VAB so now we're going to go ahead and find VA so VA is the voltage of A with respect to this ground point right here. So this is plus, this is minus, and this is VA. And we're going to say, we're going to look at this loop. And we're going to say that this is our loop. So uh, we're going to put plus or minus on these ones, plus or minus. And then we're going to make our way go this way. So we're going to hit first VA. VA is positive, uh, plus VR7, and then minus VR8 is equal to 0. So then VA is equal to VR8 minus VR7. And we already know what VR8 is. It's 26.7. Uh, VR8 is 26.7, and then VR7, uh, VR7, we know what VR7 is, we know the current is 3.12, we know what the, the resistor value is, uh, the resistance, uh, the resistor value is 3.3 kilo ohms, so we say um, 3.12, 3.12, Point one two milliamps multiplied by the value of the resistor in R7, which is 3.3 kilo ohm, and this gives us let's just calculate it 26.7 minus 3.12 multiplied by 3.3 gives us 16.4 volts for VA. Okay, so then we've calculated that. Now the last one is VCB, where we calculate VCB. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste the diagram one more time. This time we're finding VCB, where it's the voltage at C with respect to B. So B is going to be our negative, and this is going to be our positive, and this is VCB. And this is going to be our loop. This is going to be our loop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to go this way. So we're going to say plus minus, plus minus, and that one already has one. So we're going to say VR5 
plus VR7 minus VCB is equal to zero. We can say that VCB is equal to VR5 plus VR7. We already know what VR7 is based on this, so let's just uh, let's just let's leave some space for VR5. And so it's 3.12 milliamps multiplied by 3.3, .3. and then VR5. We just have to go up and see what VR5 is. So VR5, based on the results that we found, uh, VR5 is 2.28 milliamps. And then the value for R5 is 1.8. So we go 2.28 milliamps, 2.28 milliamps multiplied by R5, which was 1.8. And if we do the calculation for this, times 1.8 plus 3.12 multiplied by 3.3, .3, we get 14.4 volts. So this is our VCB. This is our VA and this is our VAB. So for VAB, it's voltage of A with respect to B. For VA, it's voltage of A with respect to the ground, whatever the ground of the circuit is. And for VCB, it's voltage of C with respect to B. And this is how you find all those values. And this is an example of reduce and return. Thanks for watching.